Out of the equilibrium systems you'll be required to know and understand in the HEC chemistry syllabus, the reaction between nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen tetroxide or N2O4 for short is the only reaction that involves gaseous chemicals. And as a result, it is very unlikely for you to investigate this reaction in a school laboratory. If you happen to have an opportunity to investigate this reaction, the gas mixture is usually contained in the syringe, which is a closed system because the gases in the syringe will not be able to exit the syringe and the surrounding air particles will not be able to go inside the syringe. This is a very interesting experiment because by pushing the plunger, the system's pressure can be easily increased and vice versa, if you release the plunger of the syringe, the pressure of the system is decreased. I've got this image on the right hand side here to remind you the relationship between pressure of the system and the rate of collision between particles. So if you push the plunger, the pressure of the system is increased and as you can see here the volume of the syringe is also reduced which increases the concentration and more importantly the rate of collision between particles. So the ultimate result of that is an increased reaction rate. Let's have a look at this equilibrium in a bit more detail. Nitrogen dioxide has a distinct brown colour at room temperature, while N2O4 is a colourless gas. If we increase the pressure by pushing the plunger of the syringe, the concentration of all the gases will be increased. If the concentration of nitrogen dioxide increases, the mixture becomes more brown, and this happens instantaneously as a plunger is being pushed. However, if you wait a few seconds and watch what happens to the colour, the brown colour of the syringe will slowly become less and less brown. This is due to the movement of equilibrium position. The equilibrium will shift to the right side of this reaction, which has less gas particles. So we've got two gas molecules on the left hand side and only one on the right hand side. As the equilibrium moves to the right side, which has less particles, the pressure of the system is therefore reduced. It is important for you to remember how to use Lachette's principle to predict the direction of equilibrium position movement. Since the equilibrium moves to the right hand side, the concentration of the brown nitrogen dioxide decreases gradually. And that's what causes the mixture to become less brown over the duration of several seconds. Conversely, if we have a reduction pressure, this will initially decrease the gas concentration. So here you can see between the first and second image, as the plunger of the syringe is released, the gases become more pale. However, like before, if you wait for a few more seconds, you will see the color of the mixture becoming slightly more brown. This is because the equilibrium shifts to the left side, which has more particles, in order to increase the pressure of the system. As the equilibrium moves to the left side, the concentration of nitrogen dioxide increases while that of N2O4 decreases. The increased concentration of NO2 leads to a more brown appearance. Like all reactions, temperature always influences the position of the equilibrium. The Ford reaction is exothermic as indicated by negative change in enthalpy. So cooling the mixture will shift the equilibrium to the right side in order to produce more heat. And again, this is applying Lachette's principle. So the movement of equilibrium to the right-hand side will decrease the concentration of NO2 while increasing the concentration of N2O4. And as a result, the mixture, as you can see, becomes more pale when the flask containing the mixture is submerged in their beaker full of ice. Conversely, if we have an increase in temperature by heating the solution or mixture, this will favour the reverse reaction as it is endothermic. As the equilibrium moves to the left side, we have an increase in concentration of nitrogen dioxide and a decrease in concentration of N2O4. So as a result, the mixture will appear more brown. 